Now we're going to do four extra strikes. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to emphasize one other point. When I do a forehand, like tennis, my palm is up. When I do a backhand, my palm is down. So if I go one, palm up. Two, palm down. Three, palm up. Four, backhand, backhand, back, palm down. Really, really basic and simple. The reason for uh, getting so clear about that is when I go number two, I go number one and number two. Number one, it's easy for most people. Number two, right, if I don't do it conscious of this angle of the backhand and the palm down, a lot of people end up doing this. And that's, a, that's an automatic disarm. You disarm yourself because it's going to pull against the thumb, which is kind of where the vast majority of uh, disarms occur. All right, so palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. All right, so it gives you a real sense of it. One other bit to keep in mind, these knuckles represent the blade. So this is where the edge of the blade would be. So that's where your knuckles are. So then you're not going to ever hit like that, or you're not going to hit with the, the back of your wrist or back of your hand you're going to come in with the edge of the blade because they all come from um you know blade arts bladed arts okay so the other ones to add so we did these warm-ups right at the start yeah and these are very like ab abanicos yeah so go one two three yeah, and we have some other strikes redondos and stuff so the other four that i really like are one so i'm going palm up uh, and i turn it to palm down so i go here so i'm going to hit with the tip of the stick yeah so i'm going to be here yeah, so my hand doesn't actually come into where it gets smashed. Yeah, so my stick does the work. If I go number one strike, number one, and I turn it, so palms up, palm down, right, then the tip is coming over. Same with the backhand, I go palm down, palm up. Right, so this is like an abanico hit. Boom. And the same with overhand, I'm going over, so it's number, it's like a number two is going to come in, and then I turn it. Just change it from palm up to palm down. These are really, really, really powerful. And I particularly like these, yeah? Yeah, because you, you, the tip is really hard to stop. This part gets really hard to stop. Okay, so the whole thing would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, then we come back into one, two, yeah, three, four. Yeah, so that would give us a 14 good strikes. Yeah, we're clear and comfortable with all of those. And then we're going to, next one, we're going to add in some of the footwork and a few other variations.